Breakdowns, your source for my judo commentary for matches that you can find online. All right, so what do we have for you today? We have a match in the women's under 52 category at the uh, Grand Slam in Paris 2022 between Christian Le Gentil and Giovanni Ferre from Angola and Me from Mauritius and Angola, respectively. <coughs> Pardon me. And, uh, Let's just jump into the match. Okay. So Giovanni, Giovanna is a brown belt. It's a little bit surprising since you don't normally see many brown belts at competition this level, but uh, you know, she's here, so let's see what she's got. Can't discount her because she's in a brown belt. So when I was a brown belt, I relished smashing black belts <laughs> so we'll see right now it's looking kind of tense in terms of that left arm you can see how rigid that is you know and uh how much she's trying to block the entry from uh christian and how bent over her stance is. so i'm assuming she, actually both aren't really doing anything so they might get penalized soon those aren't really attacks but no, if, it, if it's only Giovanna, yeah, okay, so for sure Giovanna, but then, okay, yeah, they're both getting penalized, which is fine, because those weren't real attacks by Christian anyways. Okay, so she's got her bent over again. Let's see what she's got. Can she come in with an entry? Normally, when you're bent over like that, you, you see drops a lot just uh, to get under. Oh, nice. Oh, that was close. The Sore, uh, Sore Komagoshi was uh, looking pretty good. Uh, hmm. Is it, no, things going to come out of this. Yeah, exactly. Those legs need to be uh, wrapped up if you're going to do anything. No, she was just sort of underneath the body, so it was hard. Uh, there does seem to be an attack there that is working for Christian, so wouldn't be surprised if she goes to that again. Uh, just like half a half a click away from getting this the full epon. She got a wazari off of it, which is good. It was because it was there was not a lot of power behind that one, but hey, throw is a throw. So right now she's ahead on the wazari, <coughs> and they're both at one penalty. So even that from that perspective, but you're gonna need to start seeing some more um, activity from. Uh, okay. <coughs> penalty for going out of bounds. I think that's what that is. And, uh, but still, that doesn't mean that, you know, Giovanna can waste time. She needs to get going, get going soon, because uh, you're still down the Wazari, right? So, yeah, there's the attack there. And she's not as active as Christian, right? You can see, like, the number of attacks that Christian is throwing out there. It's a lot more than uh, what Giovanna's doing. So, Hopefully, she can start picking it up because time is ticking down. And then so far, I haven't counted very many uh, effective attacks from uh, Giovanna. Christian again with another attack. Those aren't also very effective. And yeah, she's getting penalized now. So now it's evened up in terms of penalties. So mm, she's really behind it now because she can't afford another penalty. And uh, time is ticking. If you can't get to these grips... This is all seconds coming off the clock, right? Important seconds, right? In times like these, I always say, you know, don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good here, right? Like, just get something off, right? Go down swinging, you know? <laughs> so don't just, t yeah, see there, there was something there. Okay, she could have finished that. I think that was the moment for her to really get something if she really finished the rotation there. But, uh she didn't get it. She didn't go for it. So unfortunately, uh, that might be the big missed opportunity there. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Once again, the sore. Yeah. This no. Don't bother with the name. Just get up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't have time, Giovanna. Come on. What are you doing? Right. Christiane, that was a good attack. She's doing what she needs to do to win, which is uh, attack enough to avoid the penalty. I'm seeing less than a minute now. I don't know exactly how much. I just saw there was a zero, so I'm assuming that they were sub a minute. So, uh, 
Giovanna's got to really go for the gusto here. Otherwise, you know, she's going to lose. Just anything, please. Okay, that's uh, what? 12 seconds? Oh, my goodness. 12 seconds. <laughs> okay. Well, the way this is going, I'm not expecting a big throw out of Giovanna just because, okay, did she get hit in the face? Okay, I, I don't know. 12 seconds. You have to be a lot, a lot more aggressive. You got to get the E-Pone right now. Get the grab. Go for it right now. There's no time. Three seconds. My goodness. No. Okay, this is over. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations to Christian. Um, there was one uh, point where uh, I thought that Giovanna, if she had continued the, uh, it looked like an Ogoshi. If she had just continued that, uh, could have had the throw there. So uh, even though she's a brown belt, she definitely hung in there. Didn't get totally uh, smashed, so that's positive, and it was probably a valuable learning uh, experience for her. But uh, hopefully she looks back at that and sees the opportunity that was there and, uh, you know, improves. So those are my thoughts on this match. If you have any of your own thoughts or if you have any uh, feedback for me on the channel or uh, have any recommendations for future videos, let me know. Leave a comment. Until next time, have a great day.